Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. So today's video is going to be another comparison video between two eyeshadow palettes and both of these are from Makeup Revolution, the Sofix original uh, first edition palette and the Sofix extra spice palette. I have both of them and I have used both of them for quite some time now and I think I have a fair comparison in mind. So I thought I'll share that with you. So if you guys are interested, then please continue watching. So let's talk about these two palettes. I have both of them. This is how both of them look like. So this is the Sofix original, the first edition palette which was released. And this is the extra spice one. Look at how shiny it is. It has a mirror finish and this has a normal plastic packaging. Both of them are actually the same in size. There is no size difference. And the outer packaging looks something like this if you want to spot them in the store. So this is the Sofix Extra Spice and this one is the uh, original one. You can see the shadows are listed behind. For the Extra Spice one, you also have the shadow names. And in the Sofix one, you don't have the shadow names but you do get a like a thin film like this where you have the shadow lens which comes inside the palette. So both of these palettes have a very similar nature as I showed you they are same in size and they open really nicely they open flat. I love palettes which can open flat like this it lays flat on the table easier to look at the mirror the same for functionality is there in the other palette as well. So this is the original one the first edition and this one is the extra spice. Although the size of the palette is the same but you get more number of shadows in the original one. Each pan contains around the same amount of product in both the palettes. So in that sense, you do get more product in the first edition palette. Here is a close-up of the first edition palette. And in this palette, you get 24 shades. Out of them, 10 of them are shimmer shades and the rest are matte. And this is the extra spice palette. You get 18 shades in here. Out of the 18 shades, 6 are shimmers and rest are matte. So if you compare the shade distribution, you get more uh, mattes in this palette. And here you get a more of an even distribution with uh, 10 uh, shimmer shades and 14 matte shades. And in the extra spice palette, there are 18 shades. Out of them, 6 are shimmers and 12 are mattes. So this is a more matte heavy palette for sure. Okay, now let me tell you how these palettes are working out for me and which I kind of prefer. So first let's talk about the original Sofix palette. Now I've already mentioned this a few times in my previous videos that I do really like this palette. I think the consistency of the shadows is pretty good. The shimmers are good, the mattes are pretty nicely pigmented, they blend well and there are a variety of shimmers so you can create different looks. So I have actually been enjoying this palette a whole lot and I will definitely recommend it. Uh, about the extra spice palette, I think the extra spice palette is also pretty good. I think the shimmers in this palette are a little difficult to work with as in you have to build up and build up and build up and I don't like to build up shimmers too much. I don't mind uh, uh, building up mattes but I feel like shimmers should be very smooth and intense at one go. So in that department, I think this palette is lacking. The mattes are pretty good. They are really nicely pigmented. Uh, the mattes in this palette are a little deeper in color uh, compared to this one. So if you're close to my skin tone or deeper than me, I think this palette may work out well for you. I think uh, for deeper complexion, this palette will also work pretty good. But yes, as I was saying, the shimmers in this palette, I did not find that they are up to the mark. You have to use a fixing uh, spray. You have to build up, build up, build up. Like today, I have used this palette, only this palette for this eye look. And I do actually really like the eye look which I have got uh, but I had to build up the shimmers a lot the mattes are pretty easy to work with uh, the mattes also you have to build up like standard makeup revolution palettes you have to build up the mattes a lot but uh, the shimmers I think in this palette they are not like extremely smooth and pigmented so I had to build up a lot but as you can see I mean you can create a look it's not uh, it's not like you they are unworkable they are definitely you can work with them so for both the palettes I think uh, it's it depends on you which kind of colors you're looking for I think if you're someone who doesn't care too much about shimmer shades then you can probably try out this one because this has really nice amount of mattes and the variety of mattes is also pretty good so if you're looking for a staple matte eyeshadow palette probably you can look into this with some interesting shimmers on the other hand i think this is a more cohesive more consistent palette in here most of the mattes and shimmers are pretty good quality they work well uh, the colors here you can easily create a lot of looks so if you're someone who loves both matte and shimmers then i think you should try this one because this has really interesting shimmers like this whole uh, area here plus this one 
these are really really nice shimmers you can get some very very pretty looks and somehow i prefer uh the this palette over the other palette because i think you get the kind of looks which you get from the other palette are more prettier and you do you have to do less amount of work with the first palette with this extra spice palette i did get a nice look and some of the mattes are really nicely pigmented but with the shimmers i did have to work quite a lot so i think it depends on you which kind of colors you're looking for which kind of finishes you're looking for i will show you swatch comparison where you can see the shades side by side i would say there are not many similarities between the palettes some of the shades do look similar and they will look similar on the eyes so it's like you don't have to buy both the palettes but if you want to try both of them you can but even if you decide to buy just one of the palettes i think you'll get some flavors of the other palette as well so i don't think you uh, need to buy both the palettes if i have to recommend one i think i will recommend this one because i think this is a more consistent palette and the versatility is a little bit more uh, than the other for both the palettes i would emphasize highly highly that use a primer without the primers the shadows uh, they don't work that well on the eyes at least for me i have to have to use primers with makeup revolution shadows then you get this kind of intensity and yeah color payoff without a primer i cannot get this kind of intensity on my eyes so definitely primer is a must and also for this palette i would say primer is absolutely must because in this palette the mattes i don't know the formula is a little bit softer when i blend too much with this eyeshadow palette without any primer on the shadows just almost blend away into nothing so i have to build up and build up and build up quite a lot but with a primer i don't really face that issue so that's a rough comparison of the palette now let's go ahead and see the swatches and i will show you side by side comparison of the shades in both the palettes Okay guys, so before doing the swatch comparison, I just want to show you guys the palettes side by side. I have swatched the matte shades of both the palettes. The bottom row is the Extra Spice palette and the top row is obviously the Sofix first palette. So as you can see, the Extra Spice palette has a little bit more deeper colors and the Sofix palette doesn't have a lot of depth in colors. Uh, they are a little bit on the lighter side, like you have this lighter pinks, uh, lighter red, uh, somewhat of a deeper red. Other than that, mostly they are quite neutral. You have some peachy colors over here and there are a lot of beige tones like white and beigey tones. That's how they look on my skin tone. But in the Extra Spice palette, you can see there are some deeper pinks. This pink is gorgeous, by the way. And then you have some purpley pinks, some purple, uh, orange, yellow. So you do have a lot of more variety in the Extra Spice palette. If I have to talk about the comparison, I think uh, most of the shades are different. Uh, they may look somewhat similar on the eyes like some of these beiges and maybe these two pinks will look somewhat similar on the uh, eyes and these browns this one is uh, olive brown but uh, they may look somewhat similar on the eyes this is the two browns which is there in the sofix palette and there is a deeper uh, black in both the palettes the extra spice palette the black is more pigmented more smoother and uh, yes a little bit more pigmented in the first one so from the look of it i don't see a lot of similarity between both the palettes but you do get a lot of uh, depth in colors from the spice palette the colors in the spice palette they do pop on the skin much more and the pigmentation and the smoothness of the colors is just a tad bit better than the original palette okay here i've swatched all the shimmers and the bottom shimmers are from the extra spice palette and the top one is, is from the first palette obviously you're getting a lot more shimmers in this palette and in this one you get only six uh, and the kind of shimmers or the shade of shimmers are pretty different in both the palettes uh, the shimmer quality i would say is i prefer the shimmer quality from the first palette the second palette swatches really well but somehow on the eyes they don't go as smoothly and easily i prefer the shimmer of the first palette and also because I think I get more versatility from the first palette. You get this purple and a green and this duochrome blue shade. These three are really stunning. This bronze shade is also really, really good. You get one uh, like a burgundy kind of a shade. You get a coppery shade. So I think the shade range of the shimmers is really good uh, in the first palette. And in the second palette, I think I'm not that big a fan of this silver. I don't really wear silver eyeshadow. So... I don't really care about this silver. This champagne-y, pinky champagne shade is pretty good. This shade right here is pretty similar to these two uh, here. 
on the eyes they will look kind of similar this burgundy reddish shade is somewhat similar to this one although this one is a little bit light so this one is a little bit deeper you don't get a gold shade in the first palette although i don't think this gold looks this vibrant as it has swatched here on the eyes it doesn't look this vibrant you'll have to use fix plus and you have to do a lot of things to make this pop like it has swatched it swatched pretty well and this is a green olivey green shade which is pretty good so i think the shimmer shades in here are not very very exciting for me i love the shimmers of this palette much more and i think the shimmers in the first palette are much more easier to work with as well i'll give you a quick close up of the shimmers here they are Okay right, guys so that was the comparison of both of these palettes do let me know which palette do you like more and also do let me know if you have uh, any of these palettes and how do you like them i would love to know i really hope that this video was helpful and the comparisons helped you in deciding in some way uh, if you have any questions or if you have any comments then please leave them in the comment section below i will be happy to reply to you guys other than that i really hope that this video was helpful to you and you liked it if you liked it as always please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you're watching me for the first time i really hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel ring that bell as well uh, to get all the notifications uh, whenever i upload a new video and yeah thank you so much for watching i will see you again really soon in my next video bye